what's your opinion of the uh, replacement candidate, Cameron Caldwell, who pre previously was uh, one of the henchmen uh, on the Gold Coast City Council of Tom Tate, also a controversial local politician, strongly associated, in fact, a lifetime member of the LNP? Absolutely. Very, very uh, staunch supporter. Mr Corbell's always supported Stuart Robert. He still sits in the same party room as Stuart Robert, as I've said. They've ne the LNP hasn't announced he, uh, that Stuart Robert has left. And uh, Mr Corbell's been never once publicly spoken out against Stuart Robert. Never, ever raised one word of concern about it where I've been fighting Stuart Robert and these allegations and the list of transgressions that he's had, I've been doing that for five years and that speaks to my character and the fact Mr Caldwell has not said one word publicly against Stuart Robert and all the grief he's brought to his party, that speaks to Mr Caldwell's character. He's just pretending Stuart Robert didn't happen and he's a new chapter and everyone in Fadden should forget well, no one in Fadden is forgetting the absolute nonsense that's gone on in relation to Stuart Robert and his best mate Scott Morrison, who are now possibly um, looking at repercussions from the robo debt report that was handed down last Friday by Commissioner Holmes. What about the uh, the opposing uh, LNP candidate Cameron Caldwell? Do you have any opinions about him? You know, obviously he's been strongly involved in uh, local politics or Gold Coast politics on the Gold Coast City Council for a long time, as particularly as uh, the um, as the ERPA, the planning committee uh, chair, I believe. Uh, how do you feel about him? Do you think that uh, he would present a would be a good new MP? I, I don't know Cameron per personally, but what I do know as a local mum and a registered nurse is that the things that are important to me in my community, education, healthcare, aged care, childcare, they're also important to the people that I, I um, meet every day in this electorate. So yeah, that's, those are priorities for me. That's great. Yeah. Um, this week there's been a little bit of news about the RoboDat Royal Commission, yeah. that there's been a sealed chapter that we still don't know. Um, who the two parties, who the two MPs or ministers are that were mentioned in that uh, sealed chapter of the Robo Debt Royal Commission report, and yeah. Bill Shorten's come out yeah. and said some fairly strong things about it. Yeah. What was your attitude uh, towards that, given that the previous candidate, Stuart Robert, uh, was closely involved? as Social Services Minister. Yeah, so I think no one expected to be going back to work um, the polls this soon after the election last year. It's only just 12 months ago. So I'm really pleased to see that report being handed down and it was an interesting reading and if anyone gets an opportunity, definitely get in and read that chapter one. But what I'm really... Um, hoping that we can do is to put that compassion back into human services and I know that that's what the Albanese Labor government is doing because we no one deserves robo debt and it's a, an indictment on our history really. Do you think that there is a strong understanding of the allegations against Stuart Robert in this electorate from what you have seen uh, standing here at the polling booth? Yes I think there is because a lot of people are bringing up you know, the $38,000 internet bill, they're bringing up the Nimrod scandal from years back, the Sunland scandal's been mentioned. Um, Stuart Roberts' name's coming up a lot. He's, he's left a legacy in this and it's not a good one. People have followed him and, you know, he, there are a lot of allegations and, as you say, he's denied um, any responsibility in a multitude of different allegations and they are to be tested in a court of law but definitely the feeling is people have just had absolutely an absolute gutful. There's been the Robo Debt Royal Commission report handed down this week which may or may not have named the previous um, long-term member Stuart Robert who as a matter of fact I should disclose I went to school with oh, yeah, okay. yeah up in Rocky yeah. um, how do you think that may affect the vote this week, this weekend in Fat? Well, we're back here because of that, a year later. It's costing the taxpayers money to have this by-election and, and it's all coming out about, you know, what that robo-debt has cost yep. in, in way of lives, in way of 
just um, the, go the government's no care attitude towards the people that it represents. What's your position on um, corruption? You know, you don't want to talk about Cameron Caldwell and there's no allegations particularly of him being corrupt. However, there was uh, in the previous member, the member who has stood down uh, to allow this by-election, to cause this by-election, uh, Stuart Robert, what's your opinion on corruption generally? I can understand that you may not want to talk about the previous candidate. You know, things like the, uh, the Corruption Commission and stuff like that. What's the Greens' position and your own position on those matters? Yes, well I think the voters of Foden are particularly um, dissatisfied with not only uh, corruption but also the fact that they've had to come and vote in a by-election because the previous member didn't stick around till the next election. Um, and um, so, as I say, the focus should be on the, on the voters. Um, but, um, yeah, corruption is a, a huge problem and it's um, not unique to the previous member for Fadden, unfortunately. Um, um, in some ways, they um, perhaps um, became more prominently known for it, um, which is probably better than having it hidden away. Um, but, um, so the Greens, for a long time, we've been looking at... Um, not only we, we, we for you know a decade or more we were asking for an independent anti-corruption commission we're finally going to have one yeah. 